destination is St. Carlos, Colombia. It's about an hour and 45 minutes away from here. Hope we make it back there and we're over there before sundown. So we're gonna stuck in the boonies in the middle of the dark. That'll be all good. Don't win them. There should be a bunch of waterfalls there. It's known for beautiful landscapes, beautiful areas to see. And boy, waterfalls. So we're gonna check that out. We can go for a swimming one. See how big we can find one. See how big there will be. All right, guys. Stop over here with the beautiful view. We're at somebody's house. Little Duchan kiosk area. Quite abandoned. Let's look at this view. Wow. So you actually could see somebody's casa. You see that they collect in rainwater in that jug right there. So they have a little tube that collects all the rain and goes in that tub to get fresh water. That's pretty cool. And then a beautiful area over here, as you can see. Beautiful spot, take a little break. And you think you'd see more gringos around here, but honestly, there isn't much at all. Mostly only in the tourist areas. I go out to the uh, areas, the rural areas, don't see many. I go out to the rural areas, I don't see any gringos at all, no Americans, pretty much just me. So it's pretty cool. Even the celebrities yesterday, they're like, you're here alone? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, damn, be careful, but it's normal, guys. Like, let's look at the news in the past uh, couple days. There is more shit happening in Detroit. People getting robbed, explosions, people getting killed. More than you ever hear out here. Might be because it might not be on the news, but obviously there is news areas, news outlets, and you don't see stuff like that too often around here. Obviously there's stuff going on, always. The same shit happened in Detroit, 30 minutes away from my house. So we're east of Guadalupe, pretty much in the area where you don't see pretty much anybody. Just in the rural mountains, in the boonies. All by myself, guys. Okay. It should be okay during the day to do this, especially on moped. Kind of disguised with the moped helmet, and you just look like somebody else just taking a moped along the road. I highly recommend it, don't, don't do it at night, only in the tourist places. So here we are, a small town called San Rafael. Got gas here, we're gonna gas, got food and stuff, all that good stuff. We're pretty much good on eating for a few, so we can keep on heading on through. Gary looking at me like, who the fuck is this green though? It's San Rafael. That's the name of this city. Very old school. The middle of the boonies, guys. Beer, going real quick. Had a little break, about a halfway point, about one hour. So we our destination. Let's go see who has a gila. How oh, they look like it over here. <laughs> Hola, como estas? So, uno a gila. Hola, hola. Como estas? Uno a gila, cerveza. Sí, sí, sí. Perfecto, gracias. ¿Acuyendo? ¿Change? ¿Change? Ah, uh, <laughs> lo siento. Ah, oh, perfecto. Muchas gracias. All right, guys. For my money away. Enjoy our cerveza. 
Beautiful music, beautiful scenery, and the church and everything as usual. Every town, every city has a central plaza where thing goes on as usual. We finished our beer. Back into the town, on the road again. Literally in the Colombian jungle right now, guys. Salvo. Not many people would want to do this. Seguero aqui? Oh. Seguero aqui? For Gringo? San Carlos. San Carlos, sí, sí. Derecho, 20 minutos. 10 minutos? Ok. Derecho. Ok, gracias, muchos. Bien. Gracias. Hey, Seguero, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien, aquí estoy. Tend up to San Carlos, check out some waterfalls, check out the middle of Colombia. Pretty much where nobody goes, kind of in the rural areas, the middle of the mountains. Just trying to check out some areas, you know, do some tourist stuff. End up flying through the mountains, you know, doing my thing. Throwing the curves, doing like 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. And at this one point, there's this big dip in the road that went from like pavement to dirt. You know, with a big pothole there. As soon as I hit that doing about 40 miles an hour, I literally flew off face first. Slid for about 10, 20 feet, and then fucked my shit up, guys. Had to go to the hospital nearby. It was about 30 minutes away. So as I fell down, some people stopped nearby. I was literally just leaking in blood. As you see right here, it's kind of, it's been like six months now, but had a huge leak out of my arm. Just kept leaking and leaking. My whole body was scraped up. Just took my shirt off, ripped it, wrapped my stuff up. People helped me. Picked up my moped. Moped was okay. It was driving. The sun was coming down in about 20 to 30 minutes. So got up on my bike, went straight towards the inner city of San Carlos. And luckily I got there right before it started getting pitch dark. But I pulled up, it was dark outside, asked somebody for the local hospital. Some guy took me on a moped to the local hospital. And that's how this started. Yeah. At the hospital. San Carlos, about 30 minutes out, fucking wiped out. Looks like a fucking bloodbath up in here, guys. <laughs> but I'm good. All they do is stop the bleeding. Moped was good. Look at these people stopped, helped me manage me up. Took about 30 minutes to get back. Lucky bike was okay, rattling a little bit, but we're good. Got here literally five minutes after it got dark, so that was perfect. Well, I don't even know how this hospital's gonna work, or how that works out, because I got no healthcare down here. But hopefully, figure something out. And graphic, watch out guys. Kind of wish I got more footage of the inside of the hospital, but other people were there, so I didn't feel too comfortable. It was about the size of a corner store, pretty much open, exposed outside. Just pretty much a small, little old school type of deal with old school remedies, but everything was good. They pulled my nail, everything was good after that, let me go. Everything was being taken care of. And surprisingly, Colombia has better healthcare than Canada. We got our aguila, we got some juice. About to head out to the hotel. 
literally about one minute away. You're at St. Carlos at night. Has bed. It's got a TV that we don't even use. A little fan. And a shower that has no hot water. None at all. Buenos dias, everybody. Day two. All fucked up still, but feeling good. Leg working okay. I can walk perfectly fine. Everything decent, any new bandages, but. Shoes, so I don't walk around looking like a murder ass gringo. Got some of these from San Carlos. And these are not cheap guys. These were 60 USD or 200 mil. Cheapest ones I can find around here. It's crazy. These are like 30 bucks from Express back in the States. These boys are not cheap, but I guess made a real leather, so they know cheap shit. And here's a breakdown of the hospital bill, if I were to pay for it. Pretty much 76,000. I guess consult consulting or whatever. Or I guess everything all together in 27,000, 318,000. So total would be 122,000 COB. It was all free thanks to insurance. But luckily, if you're in America, you're probably paying at least 20 grand for that or some shit. Who knows? So I settled into my Airbnb for the next few days. Great little spots with a nice rooftop view. Had a little restaurant right downstairs, which is perfect because I could barely walk. I was just in pain the whole time. Tried taking a shower once I got to the Airbnb and literally fainted in the shower twice. Just feeling like pure crap, having no energy, no food, and just feeling all the pain whenever the water hit me. But luckily it got better after a few days. Looks like we got a bee infestation. I don't know where they're coming from because they just let them all out and now they're all back. Luckily, I'm not scared of bees. Whatever this is, happened this way. And then we'll grab that cell going down towards number 22. At the whistle, food it is done, I guess. Oh, perfecto. Cuenta? Salsa. Si, si, salsa. No, mucho salsa. Por favor. Desta. Oh, red. We got the roja, spicy ketchup. Si, si, it's uno. Listo. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's okay. Bien, bien. Perfecto. Gracias. Excelente. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Nachos. Noches. <laughs> like a nachos. Got our food. I head back up. Got some fresh wound healing from the hospital. They did not put any gauze on me. So you guys a little sneak peek. I know it's a little gross, little uh, alert, advisory, but that this stuff looking better. Side looking better too, right there. And got under my foot a little piece of gauze, so. Knees looking good too. And they said I could swim in a week. So we're going to Cartagena in about a week and a half. About to do some swimming, baby. Oh yeah. Don't gotta cancel this trip too early. And here we got the dinner for tonight, guys. So we got Papa's Preach at the bottom, which is French fries. We got chicken di polo. It's pretty much shredded chicken on top. We got the raw onions, sausage, bacon, and queso. Oh yeah, can't go wrong with that. 16 mil, it's about $4 USD. Which back in the States, I'd be taking like, I'd be buying DoorDash almost every day. And that's pretty much just the taxes on the orders that I take every day. And I would be ordering twice a day. This is literally, Eating like a king, eating beautifully, only four dollars. Let's dig in real quick. Had this last night, so I know it's cracked, but mm. Moy, excellent there. Mm. Thank God for this Airbnb. I actually have a washer, it's gonna my clothes all wash. Make sure I'm not a smelly backpacker. You know, I am backpacking up out here. I'm not being smelly as fuck, you know, walking around, no shower, fucking for weeks, fucking dirty clothes. We ain't doing that shit at all. <laughs> you don't wanna walk up with some chicas smelling like a fucking sweaty ass balls, if you know what I mean. Clothes going, luckily we have these hammocks and shit laying around here, with some ropes, so there's no washer, I mean, there's no dryer for the clothes. I'm gonna hang up my clothes right here, I'm gonna dry out for the night. First time ever doing this, not accustomed to this, but pretty much not rocket science, so I just gotta dry the clothes and we're good to go. I need a fucking fresh lineup, so I'm about to head to the barbershop and see what's good.
And then the whole city shut down. First night of rain and the whole city lost power. Oh man. Guess this is gonna be a fun night. No Wi Fi, lights, or nothing to do. <laughs> Shit. That was cool. There we go. Scary movie up in here, guys. <laughs> And here we have a suicide shower, which is a pretty common thing in South America or Colombia, especially. Pretty much uses electronic heating element to heat up the water that pretty much goes directly from here and down. But you gotta be careful to not electrocute yourself because it's not grounded right. You might just kill yourself. Not dead yet. <laughs> Hola amigos, buenos días. Uno milo, por favor. And uno polo apanada. Here's for breakfast. Got the polo, papas, arepas. Chocolate.